Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, I am going to explain what is SharePoint Online List and how we can create a list in SharePoint Online Chat. As well as in other videos uh, in future, we will discuss a lot of other operations that we can use or we can do in a SharePoint Online List. So now let us first try to understand uh, what is a SharePoint List. Now imagine you have some information you want to store. For example, here if you see, I want to store information like uh, uh, a uh, user's first name, last name, age, salary. Let's say you have a project where you want to uh, have some information like your project ID, uh, maybe the client name, the project duration, uh, who is the responsible person for the project. So this kind of information you want to store. Imagine you are, uh, you want to, uh, you, are, you are supporting an application and you want to create a, a list or to store some information uh, on that related to the support. So you can have that information as well. So basically, Microsoft uh, store and displays information in the form of a SharePoint list. So this is similar to a database. If you have, uh, uh, if you are working on kind of um other uh, technologies like let's say you are using oracle or sql then we are creating databases and inside that we usually create tables uh, so these are kind of the tables that we uh, we uh, use to store information so a uh, same way when you are uh, creating a table you will have create column with the particular data type so these things also we are going to do the same way in sharepoint list as well so um Let's say in an organization, people usually uh, use SharePoint list to organize information in the uh, in in their SharePoint portal. So SharePoint list basically is a collection of data. And if you will look at uh, uh, a particular SharePoint list, then there will be uh, three elements on that core elements. One thing is the item. So like for example here, this one is one item where you will get the entire information about that particular employee and uh, then is the field so fields are like column in a table or the metadata we can say for example in this case this first name is a column last name is a column age is a column salary is a column similarly you can have other columns like in email address customer name mobile number uh, address all these things you can you can have this and the final thing is the views so basically a uh, list use uh, the views to display uh, the data so uh, when you are seeing some data, then you are seeing a view of that particular list. Now, in a uh, SharePoint uh, uh, list or in a SharePoint site, Microsoft provides various uh, list templates, which you can actually use to create uh, um, a list and it will have some predefined column. For example, there will be a task list, there will be calendar list, there will be a promoter links, discussion boards, issue tracking, uh, then there will be contact list where you can store uh, contact information. Uh, then there will be also another kind of list like announcement list, survey list. And apart from that, uh, if your business requirement is not filling up with this kind of uh, um, uh, list templates or the predefined templates, then you can always create custom list and you can add your columns, custom columns into that particular list. Now what I'll do is I'll open my uh, SharePoint online uh, site and then we will see the default templates which are available, uh, the default list templates and then we'll see how we can create a list. Uh, now if you are interested to learn SharePoint, then I have a ter SharePoint training courses. You can see here SharePoint development framework, site or note training in text and the power platform training as well. So. Um, you can i'll put the url you can have a look at this and if you are interested you can go for the entire training course bundle as well now this is a sharepoint online site so this is a sharepoint online site you can see here it's a modern site and uh, in the modern site if i will uh, this couple of ways that you can create a list but before uh, uh, going to create a list let's uh, or uh, let's let me show you where, where are the different places that you can create the list so in this case, for example, um, you can see here, there's an option, it is saying create list libraries. So when we are talking about document libraries or the documents or the files, that time we will discuss about the document libraries. Now we are discussing about uh, the information. So uh, that's the reason we are discussing about list. So I can simply click here and you can see here, 
it is asking me to create a list or to provide a name and the description and if, if I want this list to be appear in the site navigation so site navigation is this place so if you want this list to appear in this place in the left navigation then you can simply check this box now when you will create this list this way then it, you, will do, you will not have an option to select any other template so this is a custom list which will create and by default it will be having a title column only one column will be there there will be some other columns which will be hidden but the this is only one column which you can see the title column will be there now this another option that also you can do is you can see here go to the site settings icon or the gear icon then you can see here there's an option which is saying add an app so when you will click on add an app it will open the site content page you can see here this is the uh, this is the classic site content page you can see here and uh, on this basically uh, sorry it is the your apps page where you can see the all the apps here and from here you will be able to create it so for example by default when you will see here uh, you have the templates available so the templates are uh, Library templates are available as well as the list templates are available. For example, this is a, t a task list, this is custom list. And if I scroll down, you can see here there is a document library, form library, wiki page library, picture library. These are related to libraries. But if you will see here, there is announcement list, contact list. And then you can see here there is link list as well. And if you'll go uh, to the second page, you will see some other list as well. For example, you can see there's a calendar list where you can create events, create uh, meetings. And uh, then there's discussion board as well. Issue tracking list is there. And there is some other list as well. So this particular uh, thing, what we will do is we'll create a custom list. Sorry, we'll create a, a list by using any of the template. But before going to that, if, you'll, if I'll go to the site content page, you can see here this is the modern site content page in this page also you can create a list so if i will go here you can see here there is a, a list is available and you can provide a name and then you can uh, scroll down and here you can click on create and it will create the list there's also another option where you can see here uh, from an existing list you can actually create a list from an existing list and also from an excel uh, you can see here i'll put the link over there in the video description i have another video where you can where i have explained how we can create a list from an from an existing list so from here also you can provide and give a name and then you can create a, a list over here now there is uh, so this is another option now what we will do here is i'll go here i'll click on add an app so that i'll have the option to select a template now if you'll see here i will select a, a contact list so you can see here the moment i click on contacts it is asking me uh, to pick a name so either you will pick a name or you can go to the advanced option and then it will ask you for the name and description while creating or while providing uh, the name make sure that you give a name a short name as well as you should not give special characters or the spaces like this what the problem will happen is when you will give the special characters or uh, or any kind of uh, space over there then it will take uh, the url will change and once you create the list uh, this is not the, not an easy way to uh, uh, to change it but there's there's certain ways that you can change it the url but let's follow the best practices where you should not provide any space or special characters for example let's say i want to create a list for the employee of, of my company so probably i will say let's say employees uh, contact now what will happen is if you'll see here i have provided a space on this and if i'll create like this then it will create when you will navigate the list then you will see a percentage 20 will be there so that's that's that the url looks very odd so you should not give this and then if you are as a developer if you programmatically wants to access something then when you will provide the uh, url it should not be it it will not look good so probably i will um, i will remove the space and i will create it so you can see here i have created and if i'll go now here so if i'll scroll down you can see here employees contact list you can see here there is no space on this uh, and also you can see here it is not look not look good actually you should have space on this so you can actually go anytime i can go to this gear icon then you can see here list setting click on this 
and then click on list name description and navigation and here actually you can provide a space so you can see here i just provide a space and if i want this list to appear in the left navigation you can see here i'll just put yes so i'll click on uh, save and the moment i'll click on save you can see here it is coming here in the left navigation as well and if i will now navigate to the list you can see here now it has space but the url is not having any space because whatever the thing you will provide at the beginning uh, while creating it will take the url will take that one okay now we will see how we can create an item and then uh, uh, you can see here i'll click on new item and you can see uh, it is providing us the options these are the columns by default columns which are available and you can uh, provide the information on this so for example here i will say let's say uh, i will store information about myself so i will put uh, the details you can see here and i can provide my email address as well so you can see here and uh, then you can provide the company name now this these are the uh, you can also fill up the phone number business phone number so this is a template that we are using and by default microsoft provides this many columns for this particular uh, list and uh, then i'll click on save so the moment i'll click on save uh, the this has been added the item has been added you can see it you can see the information by clicking on this column so when you click on this you can see here you'll be able to come up with this information and if you want to edit all the information then you can click here edit column uh, edit all and then you can see here it is showing me and i you can put anything on this for example i will change it here uh this can see here i just put like this and then there is a save button click on the save button and then you can close here and you are with this screen uh, where you now the updated information will be stored you can see here uh, by default the by default also this this many columns are there but you can anytime you can edit and then all other columns you can add and if you want to delete it uh, then you can click on this and then click on delete you can see here when i delete it it will actually go to the recycle bin so the item will be there in the recycle bin now so uh, this is what uh, how we can create a list and how uh, this is how we can store information and these are the columns that we are got, we are talking about and uh, in the other videos we will see how we can uh, enhance more things how we can add columns and other stuff so if you like the videos kindly subscribe to the channel uh, you will get a lot of videos on office 365 sharepoint azure all these things and this this is our, our website social networking twitter and linkedin and facebook pages so thank you and have a nice day